Hello and welcome to this USA Spending tutorial video. This video will show you how to use funding codes on USA Spending to find pandemic or infrastructure spending. By way of background, the Office of Management and Budget uses Disaster Emergency Fund Codes, or DEF codes, to track spending from supplemental appropriation bills, such as for pandemic response spending or infrastructure spending. More DEF codes may also be added in the future to track other legislation and spending purposes. You can select these codes on USA Spending to see how much the federal government has spent from funding provided by these bills. This video will show you where to find DEF code spending in two different places on USA Spending. First, on Advanced Search, which searches only for award spending, and second, in the Custom Account Data Download, which provides data for both award and non-award spending. We also have a COVID-19 spending profile, but since it focuses only on pandemic spending, we'll save it for a future discussion. However, this profile does link to a useful data sources and methodology page that explains how DEF codes track pandemic spending. So be sure to check that out for more information on this subject if you're interested. As a reminder, if you are ever unsure of the terms used on the website, you can consult the glossary located under Resources in the main menu. Let's get started. From the main navigation menu, we'll go to Award Search and then select Advanced Search. Step 1. Using DEF codes in Advanced Search. First, scroll down to the Disaster Emergency Fund Code filter. Next, open up the filter you'll see two major categories of DEF codes. The first category is for funding and spending related to the COVID-19 pandemic response. The second category is for funding and spending related to the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, also known as the Bipartisan Infrastructure Bill. Notice that each DEF code is associated with a public law, such as the American Rescue Plan Act, and an emergency or non-emergency status. Unless you are sure of what DEF code you are looking for, we highly recommend selecting the umbrella categories of COVID-19 spending or infrastructure spending. If you only choose a subset of COVID-19 spending or infrastructure spending DEF codes, then your search may miss out on some awards that have received funding from the rest of these umbrella categories. For this example, I'll select COVID-19 spending and click on the Submit Search button. At the top of the page, I'll see the filters that I've selected for this search. That is to say, the seven codes associated with COVID-19 spending. In the table view, I'll see a row for every federal award that has received funding from the bills providing pandemic relief spending, including both new awards and awards that existed prior to the pandemic that received additional funds from the pandemic relief bills. Notice that there are tabs above this table for various award types, with figures showing how many total awards are in each tab. If I scroll to the right of the table, I'll see a column for the specific selected COVID-19 DEF code or codes associated with the award and columns for the obligations and outlays coming from these same COVID-19 DEF codes. I can click on any award ID to leave Advanced Search and visit a dedicated summary page for that specific award. This summary page will visualize any COVID-19 spending amounts compared to overall spending for that award. Returning to Advanced Search, notice that there are three other tabs available, Time, Maps, and Categories. Normally, you could consult these tabs for different views on the spending data that you have filtered. However, these three views are based on award transaction obligations, and since obligations and outlays tagged with DEF codes are not available at the award transaction level, you will not see figures for COVID-19 obligations in these tabs. 
Next, click the subaward toggle to see subawards coming from Prime Awards that have received COVID-19 funding. It's important to note that there is no tracking mechanism for identifying whether the subaward was actually funded by COVID-19 money or whether the money came from existing funds for that award funded by general appropriations. However, with the COVID-19 filter engaged, we do limit the subaward results to only subawards starting in April 2020, so there is a good chance that these subawards did use COVID-19 funds. Note that for any given subaward in the table, you can click on the links in the Prime Award ID column to leave advanced search and visit the Prime Award summary page for this subaward. On this page, you can see the full list of subawards under this Prime Award in the Award History section. Finally, use the download button in the top right of the page to download the data for both Prime Awards and Subawards. You'll notice that our current search exceeds the 500,000 record download limit for a search, so we'll have to add additional filters if we want to download here. For example, we could add additional filters for time period, award type, agency, location, assistance listing, also known as CFDA program, or industry code, which is to say PSC or NAICS. Once you have narrowed your search, make sure you choose the award level download. For your awareness, the transaction file will give you a separate row for each transaction of an award. Note that each award may have multiple transactions in your file. In contrast, the award level download will give you files where each row summarizes a single award with all information from the individual transactions that make up that award rolled up into that single row. You'll receive four files in your download. Two files are for prime award summaries and two files are for subawards. In the prime award summaries files, for both contracts and for assistance, you will find columns for obligations and outlays over the lifetime of an individual award from COVID-19 funds as identified by DEF codes. You can find these columns by searching the headers for the word COVID. To see which DEF codes are associated with individual awards, search the headers for the word disaster. In the subawards files, for both contracts and assistance again, you will also find these three columns covering COVID-19 obligations, COVID-19 outlays, and DEF code values for each row representing a subaward. These three columns provide summary level reference information about the prime award that issued the subaward and not the subaward itself. Please also note that multiple subawards may be tied to a single summary level prime award. Similarly, if you had clicked on the transaction level download in advanced search, you would also find these three columns in the download files. Again, these three columns in particular provide summary level reference information about the prime award and not information specific to the individual transactions within that award. Most importantly, if you want to sum up spending from COVID-19 obligations or COVID-19 outlays, in order to avoid double counting, you should do so using the award level files, and not the subaward files, nor the transaction level files. Step two, using DEF codes in custom account data download. 
Custom account data is one of several download options that USA Spending provides, and it is the only download option, other than advanced search, that includes a filter for DEF codes. This filter operates the same way that the advanced search DEF code filter operated. Here, as an advanced search, I'll click on COVID-19 spending to filter for only pandemic-related DEF codes. Here's what you need to know before using the custom account data download. Unlike advanced search, there is no limit for the number of records you can download per se, but you can only download data for one fiscal year at a time. You have the option to download data at the federal account level or the treasury account symbol level. Both files contain the same spending data at different levels of detail. Federal account data is essentially a roll-up of treasury account data, so you'll see fewer records in federal account files than in treasury account symbol files. We recommend selecting federal account unless you have a reason to choose treasury account symbol, such as if you're interested in the period of availability of the funds from the individual treasury accounts within each federal account. You also have the option to select different file types. The three types correspond to files A, B, and C that agencies submit on a monthly basis. However, it is important to note that only the second and third types, that is, files B and C, have DEF code data. The second file type, Account Breakdown by Program Activity and Object Class, or file B, features account spending data which includes both award and non-award spending. If you download this file type, you can search for the Obligations Incurred column to see how much has been spent from COVID funding for every unique combination of federal account, program activity, and object class. You can also search for the Gross Outlay Amount FYB to Period End column to see how much has been outlaid from COVID funding. I have already downloaded this file, so let's open it and find the Obligations Incurred column. The third file type, Account Breakdown by Award, only has award data, similar to what you find in Advanced Search. If you download this file type, you can search for the Transaction Obligated Amount column to see how much has been obligated from COVID funding for every unique award. You can also search for the Gross Outlay Amount FYB to Period End column to see how much has been outlaid from COVID funding, again for every unique award. As before, I have already downloaded this file, so let's open it and find the Transaction Obligated Amount column. Notice that in both files, each row will have a DEF code corresponding to COVID-19 spending due to your selection of this filter. Thank you for watching this USA Spending tutorial video. Visit us at usaspending.gov to see federal spending transparency in action. As always, you can send us an email at usaspending.help at fiscal.treasury.gov to give feedback or ask questions about the data or the website. We look forward to hearing from you.